name is Playma, I'm Ava, and on today's episode, I have a special guest, brother! <laughs> <laughs> um, brother is here, oh, his name's Nick, by the way, he is here to show you guys how to make some Sonoran dogs, also called Danger Dogs. Um, <laughs> dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, okay, and they're super duper easy to slap together. And they are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us show you what you're going to need. Okay, so what you're gonna need for these delicious hot diggity dogs is uh, four all beef hot dogs, some delicious uh, applewood smoked bacon, four slices, yeah. some hoagie rolls, and then you're gonna need some pickled jalapeno, pinto beans, and also not shown, you need some mayonnaise and mustard. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to need for the pico is some Roma tomatoes, also known as plum tomatoes, some red onion, and some cilantro, and the juice of about half a lime. Okay guys, so before we get wrapping these dogs in some bacon, uh, brother is going to tell you uh, about them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in Phoenix, this is the top number one dog. Like, Chicago's no. a Chicago dog. It's the Nogales Danger Dog in Arizona. So, brother's here to put a little Southwest in, in your, your chest. Not in your mouth. <laughs> in your chest. Burn it across your chest. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and start wrapping uh, these little babies up. Okay, guys, ready to start wrapping your dog in some bacon? Brother. <laughs> okay, so brothers, brother, you're going a little quick here. <laughs> oh, <sorry>, my bad. <laughs> okay, so you just lay your piece of bacon, your slab of bacon, got it, and then you're just going to start rolling it up. And then if you want to secure it with a toothpick, you can, but as the bacon cooks, it kind of sucks to the dog, you know, because so, it shrinks up a little bit. <laughs> like I rolled so, it too tight right it's here. It's okay, brother, it's fine. Go, bam. Yeah, see, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, it's perfect. And then we're going to make these even really uh, while their name is Danger Dog because we're going to deep fry them. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> um, but you can also grill them. You could, um, you know, just pan fry them or whatever. But it's best um, to, best to uh, deep fry them. Yeah, just deep fry them. Or you could probably even bake them, but, you know, this isn't for diet people, right, brother? No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Can I say that? No, brother. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You have to say what the I H. I said it. What the H. <laughs> the Sorry. H. No cussing, brother. Just believe it. <laughs> okay, so brother's wrapping his dogs here, and um, when he's done with this, we'll set this to the side, and I'll show you guys how to make the pico. Is it a perfect roll Okay, so the dogs are wrapped, and I set them aside, and now I'm just going to show you guys how to whip up a really easy pico. Uh, I went ahead and uh, chopped my tomatoes, and a lot of people take out the pulpy stuff, but don't take it out because that's where all the flavor is, right, brother? No. <laughs> yes. Brother. Watch and learn, brother. Okay, so... Dump that in there, and then I did about a quarter cup of red onion, Chubbo's favorite. Um, it smells it delicious, one. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. Stop letting in your chest. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. This is some sea salt. And then um, I'm going to go ahead, and here's a little notorious TIP that I always give for the cilantro to keep it longer. Put it in a little uh, cup with some water, and then the little plastic bag that you put it in at the grocery store, cover it over the top, and put it in the fridge, and it'll last you so much longer. How do you like that, brother? Put it with some moonshine. It tastes better. <laughs> moonshine. Down here in Tennessee. Brother. Brother's a little inappropriate. Oh, brother's the one. Um, by the way, brother is the one that showed me how to do the prison tamales when I first started Ava's Flava, like, almost four years ago. That's been how so long? So, brother. Yeah, but he said I kind of did it wrong. Yeah, you, you normally add the heart valve uh, ripper ready that you find in a dollar store. <laughs> I looked all in the dollar store. But I said, brother, I wasn't, I didn't 
Wait, I didn't commit a crime and do the time. That's right. I've had like a hundred of them. <laughs> hundred of them. No more though. But no brother's mas. doing no good. Mas. Brother's good. No mas. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> move your booty for a second. I gotta get a fork. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this all around and you can add jalapenos in here. You could um, add, what was I gonna say? Uh, jalapenos. <laughs> well, what, for, is that, that's for the topping? For the pico. Oh, yeah, some avocado. Yeah, this is yeah. for the topping. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze about half of a lime. You can put then, avocado in it, right? Yeah. I think, do you want to put it in here or just sliced on yeah, top? Yeah, sliced on top because that's what you do, how they okay. do it. All right. What's so however, however you want to do it. But. No, brother, this is your thing, baby. No, it's your thing. You're the master. <laughs> You're the master. I'm just uh, uh, what about, a guest in your kitchen. <laughs> what about uh, Nick, Nick's flavor? No, it's stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Nick's flavor. <laughs> Biting off you. <laughs> Nick's flavor. Okay, so this is the pico. <laughs> okay, so this is the pico. Uh, you can go ahead and taste it and see which we're going to get some chips and taste it. And now we're going to start frying up those dogs. Yeah. Okay, guys, our oil is nice and hot and ready. And a way to test it, because you always Stick want your oil to sit there. You always want it to be about 350, so a way to test it and see if it's hot, stick a little wooden spoon, and if it starts to bubble around it, it's... That's cool. I what is it, that. brother? It's, it's, ready. it's ready to rock. <laughs> ready to rock and roll. Stick your finger in there. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to start dropping the hot dogs in there. And drop some in, I brother? I'll drop them all over. Um, yeah, because there's just four. But if you had more than that, you would do it in batches because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. And just drop it in, and then you want to do <laughs> you want to do like uh, maybe one to two minutes on each side. So just when the bacon starts to crisp up. Whoa! Good job, okay, so I went ahead and flipped the dogs, and um, just to let you guys know, the bacon I used is thicker, so it took about like what, brother, four minutes? Four or five. Yeah, minutes. so like four or five minutes. So just whatever, um, just go and base it on how uh, crispy you like your bacon too. So I'm just going to let it cook for probably just like three to four minutes on this side. And then we're going to start splitting our buns and filling them. <laughs> okay, guys. So they're nice and fried up. And brother is just taking out some of the breading. So that way you can stuff more stuff in your buns. You want some of the goodies in there. What do you know about splitting those buns? <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> All day. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to put uh, your hot dog in there and just start putting on the toppings and i feel like you could really do anything in here like coleslaw would be good you sauerkraut could, yeah what if you did like refried beans that'd so be you good might need, you could do like refried beans um you know just stuff it's your dog fill it up how you like it fill your buns up yeah fill his buns <laughs> just um i told you that he's already going through you might need to uh stuff that stuff down in there but it actually is looking like you want to stuff it down in there yeah so that way some of it doesn't fall out ready just push it down there you go brother so you can shove more goodies and then if you did like a crema over the top a what <laughs> the hell is that brother you can't say that oh sorry what the h remember what the h is that man <laughs> <laughs> okay so then it's like a Mexican sour cream. Oh, yeah, that'd um, be great. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah, that'd be killer. Okay, so these are little packets that Good, Brother had from the hot dogs. You're not, you gotta... <laughs> brother... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta drizzle it pretty. No, forget okay. all that. Forget all that. You squirt it on the next dog. <laughs> oh, good. It's all going to the same place. <laughs> your gullet. <laughs> okay. It's all going down your throat box. There we go, look, look. Yeah, see, brother, Voila. you got it. Okay, perfect. Um, and there you go, brother's gonna take a bite. I'll let you take it. No, I'm not. Am why? I? Why? Yeah. Well, that's, and oh. then you can wipe with your cookie taster. Yeah, I'm the official cookie taster. Yeah, official hot dog <laughs> Brother goes to the side. <laughs> brother has nice form. Did you see it? Came around this way. <laughs> this bomb. How is it, brother? I'm gonna take a bite from the other end. <laughs> Okay, ready? Where? <laughs> <laughs> that does it. That's so good. Mm, that's good. Oh, yeah. I don't like avocado, but that's good. You don't? 
No, no, not, not too much. Whoa, it's good. Alright. Hey, you gotta come back. <laughs> okay, so I was able to swallow the goodies. <laughs> oh my god. I was, I had a mouthful for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Brother. Um, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, but sadly, Brother and I got a split like those buns. Oh, wait, wait, let me show that. <laughs> wow. Split like some buns, and Brother has been a great special guest. Um, I have to bleep a little bit. That's Brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys like this video and subscribe and show brother some love. Okay. Uh, danger dog. <laughs> danger dog. Bye.